what you were talking about um, salt uh, and then also water. Last night you said putting ocean water in your water bottle. And I was doing uh, some of the uh, Himalayan crystal salt into a brine solution and using that. And then someone said salt poison. You know. uh, is the Himalayan crystal salt mixed up a good substitute if you don't have ocean water to be adding in? I think salts are actually better than ocean water. Because they're pure? Because they don't contain bromine or bromides. This is a, a kind of a thing. The reason why dolphins can survive in the ocean and drink ocean water is because they can detoxify bromide. All right. I suspect that some of us naturally have an ability to detoxify bromide, but I'm not sure that everyone does. In fact, I'm pretty sure almost nobody does. does Me, the meaning that if you start drinking ocean water, like yeah. just guzzling it down, over a period of time you can get toxified by bromide. Mm. Now if you if you do a salt extraction, for example, the way they do the salt, they farm the salt on the, on the beaches, what happens is the bromide volatizes into the air, so it goes away. Even the crystallized stuff that's been buried underground for yeah. millions of years, like yeah. bromide stuff? We've tested it. Mm -hmm. I had that tested in my lab. Here's what we found out. This is unbelievable. This is this is incredible information. So we tested about 10 different salts. It's a, it's a fun little test. And actually the information is on my website. When you look up Himalayan salt on rawfood.com, you'll see it there. And it will say, you know, we tested it and doesn't contain bromide. And you'll see when you, um, rawfood.com Celtic sea salt, you'll see it there because we tested it. Here's the one salt that we found that did contain bromide. Morton's iodized oh, salt. Yeah. Of course. Surprise. Yeah. Taking everything else out except that. I, I, I was, it was shocking. Good. That is very good. It's just unbelievable. So with like a quarter teaspoon a day of this brine solution, which I think it dissolves to about 28% salt, I mean, a quarter teaspoon a day, does that sound like a good protocol? You know, the Christian Ortiz thing from Miracle Crystal Salt is yeah, where I got that from? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Salt is, we're made out of the salt of the earth, and salt is a, something that influences our behavior, it influences our eating. I put salt in my water every day. I put salt, and I do mixtures of different salts from all around the world, all the places I go, Kauai salt, Eden Hot Springs salt, mm. Himalayan salt, Celtic sea salt. I'll put all four of those together in a little bottle, and I'll just sprinkle a little bit out in my water every time I drink water, and that structures the water. And it's really powerful. It does something. It's there's something going on there because we're not naturally inside. You know, our our tissues are salty. Mm -hmm. We're not naturally like a river. You know, our tissues are salty. Therefore, we have to have salt in our diet to hold that juice on. And that's why in a desert climate, it's more important to have salt because you can get your body is like wanting to evaporate up into the heavens. So therefore you need more salt to hold the, everything onto the earth. The reason why the oceans are salty is that's what's needed to hold the, the water onto the earth. If that didn't happen, the water would levitate right off the earth. That would be the end of it. But the salt holds it on in the same way it holds it into our body. Mm -hmm. Do you think the sole brine is significantly better than just one of the salt? No. I don't think the sole brine is significantly better than other salts. I think the best salts I've ever found is, is Kauaian... Um, and what's that island? Nihau salts that come from those islands out there, the, those ocean salts. The reason is, is because, and you can intuit this, you'll feel it. The Himalayan salt's been under that earth for a long time. It's further away from the life force. Whereas the sea salts are closer to the life force, so they, they're there more. And therefore, when you put them in water, it's more, it's more, it's more bioavailable. And I'll leave that to your own, like, experimentation. You'll see what I mean. Sea salts go up in solution faster, and they just seem to go in deeper and do more than the rock salts. Not to say rock salts are bad, but it just seems to be that sea salts are better. Now, we have polluted oceans, so therefore we've got to have a balance between those two. Yeah. I love salt. Yeah. yeah, I love all the different salts that are out there. I have the black salts, the pink salts, the red salts, the purple salts. I think there's salt, orange salt. I think I've seen salt in every different color that's out there. Yeah, so salt is really, you know, a huge part of the history of civilization. You know, in, in Austria, Salzburg. They used to have mega, I mean, they had mega cities in the salt mines. They huge parties, whole parades. Whole, you know, people lived for years in the salt mines. It was a whole thing because that was a major part of, of life. 
we're removed from that now because we have mass transit. We can move salt from the oceans over to, you know, Salzburg, and so they don't need those salt mines anymore. It's not like it used to be. But, the, but where the salt mines were was a huge thing in the past. The whole wars were fought over salt, you know, to control the salt mines. The whole thing about, you know, the, 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 our word salt is related to the word salary because the Roman soldiers were paid one week a month, were paid in salt. Salt pay is, the, is where salary comes from. Because wow. over here you had the grain, over here you had the salt. Major part of the whole deal.